everyone, Omega Snake here, and this is a boss request from Innocent Christoph Gavin, a big fan of my channel, and he wants to know how to be a blast from the past, the attack carrier. Now, I am making this an edited video because, like with King Arthur, this boss fight is pretty short, and I want to cover everything without rushing. However, because a lot of people have trouble finding the medals, I figured I would go over them too for those completionists out there. So, with the introduction out of the way, let's start off with how to get all five medals in my sector. Get it? Because it's Sector Omega, and just, just cue the transition. Good now, most of the medals of the stage are pretty tricky to get, so I will do the best I can to explain how to get them. The first one you could get is also one of the hardest. Collect the three badge rings. However, because of how fast you're going in the stage, it's pretty easy to miss this one. Head to the left to get the first one, and then push the right stick diagonally down and to the right to use the brake and turn the ship to the right before you hit the first ring. Then, the second you grab the first ring, press right on the left stick and do not hesitate. Yes, you will take a little damage, but if you don't go for it right there, you are guaranteed to miss it. The last ring is the easiest to get as long as you stay on the low road. It'll be at the exit of this section and the metal will be right there. The second medal is the easiest to get in this stage. It'll be just ahead in the asteroid field after Pepe says... See that asteroid in the middle of the ring of asteroids right there? Destroy that and the metal pops right out of it. Just make sure to destroy the asteroid ahead of time or you will pass the metal as it spawns. The third medal is in this part with the rotating bars. To make it appear, you have to make sure you go right when you enter it and it'll appear in the middle of the section at the break between the two halves of rotating bars. Get ready as soon as you see the break coming up and use the brakes as this one is pretty easy to miss otherwise. The last two, as I'm sure you know, are the Mission Accomplished Medal and the Score Medal. The Mission Accomplished Medal is probably the hardest to get in this stage, as to get this one, you have to get through the entire stage before the boss without taking any damage at all. That means if you run into something or take enemy fire, you won't get it. You will know when you got the medal as just before the boss, Falco, who is hard to impress by the way, will actually compliment you on your flying skills if you got through without a scratch. The last one is the score medal, and that one is self-explanatory. Just get more than a total of 220 hits to get the medal. Though that's easier said than done, as to get it, you need to reach the boss with at least 160 hits and then beat the boss as fast as possible, which I will show you how in a sec. The only advice I have is make sure you get the laser upgrade near the start of the stage, and then when you get to the section where those saw blade things appear, blast as many as you can, as you get four points for each one. Also, blast as many saucers as you can after the rotating bars, as they give you four points as well for each one. After the void section with the weird blocks that appear out of nowhere, the boss will appear and will block your path, which means it's time for the main event. How to beat him as fast as possible. Before the fight though, make sure you have the laser upgrade and at least three bombs with you before you reach him. Now, let's finally get to the boss himself. Now, even though this is an old boss from 64, it is pretty apparent that Nintendo gave this guy some upgrades to throw veterans off. First off, you start off in all range mode instead of on the rails like you're used to with this guy. And second, because he is flying around, he opens his weaknesses a lot less frequently unless you're in front of him. Only then will he attack. Speaking of attacks, he has a few new tricks this time around. One of them is when he fires purple rings at you, which is a little hard to dodge and his classic launching of fighters. I mean, he is the attack carrier. What else would he be carrying? Be careful though, as those guys seem to have been training over the last 20 years and can get behind you really easily. Prepare to somersault a lot when he sends them out, but do not focus on them as they don't give any hits when you kill them. Focus on the boss and wreck his ship. But even when you do that, he still has one last attack when he loses all three carriers and it's just the ship. 
and it's not the pathetic gun from 64, but instead he opens his ship and fires out four laser beams in four directions and spins in place. Though they don't do much damage, and it's pretty easy to dodge if you stay under or above him. If you need help though, shoot the debris around the arena as they sometimes give silver rings to heal you. So now that we know his attacks, it's time to show how to really wreck his ship. Now he does have his weakness from 64. That being, shoot into the hatches when they open and he is about to attack. Though this method will take a little time unless you have hyper lasers. If you want hyper lasers, go into the upper and lower layer of the arena and shoot the debris. There is a couple of laser upgrades here and there, though I can't pinpoint where. However, thanks to advancements in tech and graphics over the years, he has a new weakness due to him being built a little more realistically. See those large iron beams connecting his ship to the carriers? Yeah, those can be shot and damaged. And if you destroy all the beams connecting to a carrier, it will fall off and explode just like if you shot into the hatch, and the beams don't have as much health as the carrier does, so it's easier to destroy them even without hyper lasers. So if you want to beat him fast, aim for the iron beams starting with the two on his right. Save the one on his left for last, as it only has one iron beam, though it's a little thicker. After destroying all his carriers, he will bust out that laser attack after his ship opens, and you have to wait for it to open, as apparently his ship got modified with a stronger steel, and your lasers will just bounce off him. Once his ship opens, you can shoot at his four cores to damage him, and once he loses a core, he loses a laser. Though, just shooting at his cores will take a couple minutes before you finally beat him. And who has that kind of time when you can just beat him before he even attacks? How, you may ask? Remember when I said to bring at least three bombs before you reach him? The second you see his cores, fire your bombs into him and it'll damage all the cores in one shot. Just remember not to mash the bomb button, or the bomb will explode too early and it won't damage him as much. You want them to explode on impact. And once three bombs explode on impact at his cores, he will go down before his lasers can even fire and net you the hit plus 10. Now, if you manage to beat him pretty fast by aiming for his iron beams and throwing bombs into his core, you should have over 30 hits from this battle. And when you combine the 30 bonus points from your healthy teammates, and if you got at the very least 160 hits from the stage, all of that will add up to over 220 hits and net you the score medal. Well, I hope this video helps you guys, whether you couldn't find all the medals or couldn't beat the boss very fast. I hope this will give you the knowledge you need to clear Sector Omega. And remember that if you want to help me out, I have a link to my Patreon in the description below, as well as links to my social media. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of Star Fox Zero, as this game is just awesome. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Omega Snake signing out. See you guys next time. Chat, we gotta go. Too bad, attack carrier. Back to the 64 where you belong.